Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome in to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group along with Reed Aberdeen and Eddie Soda. You can find out more about them by going to the website, safeguardinvestment.com. A lot of great information there. Safeguardinvestment.com to find out more about Rick and the team, but you can also find out about upcoming events. Uh, if you have questions, can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? All those questions and concerns we have. 800 700 1980. No cost for this, no obligation at all. 800 700 1980. All right, Rick, uh, we're going to talk a little bit today on the show, really about, I think, kind of the mental side of retirement, kind of how we look at things. It should be kind of fun, don't you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to talk about that. You know, one of the, the challenges is what we hope our retirement will be and then what it actually looks like. Fewer than one in four Americans think their current retirement lifestyle aligns with what they planned for their retirement to actually be. So we've got some sound. This is from Dr. David Eckert. He taught aging and retirement at the University of Kansas for 44 years. Then he retired. And he wrote about his transition into retirement in the Wall Street Journal. And we got some sound from him today we're going to hear. Uh, but he admitted that while it's one thing to know intellectually what happens with retirement, living through it is another thing altogether. In my case, I was a professor and I had to teach these classes and I had to attend these meetings and, in other words, meet these uh, time commitments. But really, the relaxation came from taking pressure off of myself in order to have, as many people do, a successful career, you put pressure on yourself to attempt things and try things and learn things and, and you know, go for opportunities. And when I no longer had to do that, that was the thing that really, really relaxed me. Uh, it doesn't matter now what time in the morning I start my walk or what time in the afternoon I decide to finish the crossword puzzle. Uh, time is much less a pressing thing for me. You know, Rick, as a college professor for over 40 years, you know, it's not like it was an eight to five schedule when you're a professor. So his day to day was different, I'm sure, than but now his retirement says, you know, I don't really have to worry about time much. But you still have clients at Safeguard, I'm sure, that get up and make sure they start the day early, might exercise, do whatever. Everybody looks at this probably a little different. I kind of like the professor's way of looking at this that, hey, you know, time doesn't really matter as much anymore. Yeah, I, absolutely. You know, I have I have clients that once they retire, they um, kind of mimic what the professor was saying where they're, they're like, hey, listen, you know what? It's nice not to have to get up early in the morning and deal with the freeways, especially, you know, here in California. You know, we got these, these you know, freeways early in the morning and in the evenings and and they can do things that, you know, based on their own schedule. And then, you know, I have other clients that are, they kind of like having a little bit of that discipline of still getting up early in the morning, but now it's refocus. Instead of having to go to work, maybe they go and they do their workouts early in the morning and, and have like, you know, maybe they, you know, uh, volunteer someplace and they have a, a routine or a hobby or something that they enjoy. So they still kind of stay busy and, and, and still have the discipline, but now it's just focused in a different area. So, you know, everybody is different when it comes to that for sure. So Rick, then now that I'm almost 64, do you think that maybe when I retire, I would, I would exercise because I have more free time? <laughs> I mean, I play golf. That's I know be you're going to be playing enough. golf. That's going to be your exercise. I know <laughs> exactly, for a fact you're exactly. doing, doing the golf thing. <laughs> You know, yeah. worst case scenario, at least hitting the balls on the range. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, Dr. Eckert says that transitioned into all that free time, though, can really create some conflicted feelings for retirees. He says he's experienced that internal conflict as well. As I put it, I have two angels on my shoulder. One angel whispers in my ear, relax, take it easy. The other angel whispers in my ear, shouldn't you be doing something right now? How about that one? Do you get much of that? I mean, it's kind of, I, I get that. I think when you've worked for over 40 years that, what, I don't really have anything to do. Surely I've got something I need to be doing right now. Yeah, yeah. And I think that goes back to kind of what I was saying. You know, everybody's different. Some people are enjoying, you know, just relaxing and just being able to do things at their own pace. And then you have others 
that say, hey, you know, shouldn't I be doing something right now? So then they, you know, they, they stick to a different discipline. So it's going back to, hey, uh, maybe a hobby or belonging to some sort of organization, or maybe they're going to focus more time with the family. And in some cases, you know, I've had clients that, you know, they retired, you know, and, you know, a year into it, you know, I ask them, they go, how's retirement going? And, uh, you know, they'll tell me, Rick, you know what? I'm busier now than when I, when I was working because now maybe they're spending more time with the grandkids and they're doing some of the heavy lifting when it comes to the grandkids or family members that they weren't doing before. So, so the work that they were putting into their, their own jobs and everything now, they got a full-time job babysitting, taking grandkids to soccer games or baseball games or, or what have you, or, you know, or, or spending more time with the church. So, um, you know, it can go like a million different directions. You need income to be able to retire. There's no question. But it's also about the mental side. How do you look at things? Does your stress level go down? Does your stress level go up? Boy, I wonder if my money's going to last as long as, I, as I'm as i needed to. Or do I have enough? All those concerns we have. Talk with Rick and the team. And Rick and the team have put together a toolkit. All you have to do is text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. Text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969, and they will send you some retirement guides talking about different areas of retirement. Also, Reed uh, did a webinar, and it's about 30 minutes. You will get that as well. So you get retirement guides and Reed's a webinar talking about how the process works at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, kind of give you some insight into retirement. Uh, so a great thing to do, I think, if you're three, five, seven years out from retirement to get this toolkit to give you some ideas about retirement. The retirement guides and the webinar, Text the word toolkit, 951-667-4969. No cost to you. 951-667-4969. So, you know, you think about what you do for your clients at Safeguard. I think from the outside, people would say, well, do I really need to talk with Rick about, you know, how I'm going to spend my time? But that is something you need to know about, isn't it? Absolutely. And, you know, here's the thing about talking with someone that actually specializes in working with individuals, you know, with retirees, um, because there's all different types of advisors out there. And yeah, there's some advisors that'll invest your money and say, okay, great. We'll, you know, do this proper allocation, blah, blah, blah. But they don't necessarily specialize in retirement. And because we specialize in this area, based upon what you want to do in retirement, we can also advise you, like you're talking about the mental aspects. We can say, hey, here are things that our own clients have experienced. Here are things that our own clients have gone through. So we can share ideas, experiences that they've gone through. So that way you can take them into consideration for your own personal scenario. So you're kind of like not getting hit with surprises with things. You know, it's, it's kind of like the scenario where, I don't know the best. I don't know if this is the best way to explain it, but it's kind of like the scenario where I don't know if you ever, you know, thought back and you're like, dang, if I only known this when I was, you know, if, if I knew what I knew at 24, you know, or if I only known, you know, if I know now what I knew back then or whatever, it, it's one of those scenarios because we deal with retirees and, and we see all the different scenarios that they go through and we see all the experiences that they go through when we're sitting down with you. And you say, hey, here's my goals, here's my objectives, here's what I'm trying to do. We can say, hey, you know what? Here are some things that you also may want to consider when it comes to your retirement planning. So this way, if you decide, hey, you know, this is something that I, I should be taking into consideration, or you might say, hey, this is some good information that maybe um, I'm, I'm glad to know about, but it's not pertinent to me right now. But bottom line, we can actually put somebody in a scenario where we minimize the surprises that you're going to get in retirement. And the other thing, too, is that we are also uh, aware that whatever plan we have in place, whatever goals or, or expectations you have for yourself in retirement, we know that once you do retire a year, two years in, those things may change because you may have gone into retirement thinking one thing. And then all of a sudden, now that you're retired and you're, you know, you thought, hey, I was going to be golfing every day. I was going to do fishing, this and that and the other. You may decide, hey, wait a minute, hold on. You know what? There's only so much golf I can do. There's only so much fishing I can do. You know, maybe I, this is where I was saying earlier. Maybe I want to, you know, take up a hobby or, or maybe get a part-time job. And, I, and I've had clients kind of change up the game a little bit 
once reality actually hits. You know, when you think you, your, your question you pose, boy, do you ever think back, what if I knew then what I know now? I had an advisor that was a family friend and at 24, I got married and he said, you know what? You really, you guys should put $50 just in an account and just put it in the market and just don't worry about it. So if I'd have done $50 a month for 40 years at $600 a year times 40 would be $24,000 compound interest, I'm thinking I would have way more than 24 grand sitting there. Heck, I might even be able to retire at this point. But there's no question. We go back to kind of what we could have done. There's nothing we can do at this point. Now it's about, okay, are we able to retire? Rick and the team are here to help. What goes into a strategy to really help turn someone's ideas and dreams about retirement into a reality? There, sometimes you probably can. Sometimes maybe you have to tweak it a little bit. Just depends. Yeah. You know, we have to be realistic. You know, so once we sit down with someone based upon what they want to do in retirement, they may say, hey, Rick, you know, I want to travel, you know, a couple of times a year. You know, sometimes it's just domestically, sometimes it's internationally, whatever the case is, or, you know, play golf or spend time, more time with the grandkids, whatever their scenario is. What we have to do is we have to diagram it. And, you know, obviously income comes into play, expenses come into play, inflation, taxes, their pensions, social security, you know, healthcare costs. I mean, the list goes on and on. But once we sit down with you and we understand what it is that you're trying to accomplish, we'll be able to set up a game plan for you, diagram a plan that addresses it. We can also let you know if your expectations are even realistic. Is there some areas that you may need to compromise on, you know, based upon your, your objective? So we'll, you know, we'll definitely keep it real with you. And then, of course, when we are setting up these plans and designing uh, the retirement plan for the individual, we already know there's a possibility that as time goes on, they may need to change it up or their situation may change. And we may need to, you know, because somebody might say, hey, listen, Rick, I really don't plan on traveling. I plan don't, don't plan on doing this and that and the other. And then once they retire, all of a sudden, some of their friends start traveling and they get the bug and they want to start traveling. So we may have to be able to change up the game. So we have to, whatever plan we design, we have to make sure that it's malleable, that if they do adjust their retirement planning down the road, we have some room to adjust along with them. And, and that's how we design these plans. Yeah. So the big picture blueprint, if you will, that Rick and the team create for their clients and not for with, because the clients have a lot to say about what they're going to do and how they're going to spend their time in retirement, obviously. So this plan, this blueprint is built alongside of you, not just you give them the numbers, and they go put it together and say, here you go. Good luck to you. That's not how it works. Rick and the team are with you through retirement as well. Income, investment, taxes, health care, long-term care, legacy planning, Social Security, Medicare decisions. It's all in the big picture blueprint. If you'd like to talk with Rick, go, wow, I don't think I have all of that. I, I think I've got enough right now. I hope I've got enough, but I don't know. Perfect time to talk with the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, 800-700-1980. Complimentary, no cost to you, 800-700-1980. I think it's one of the great opportunities you have is to find out where you are. Get some clarity in your retirement picture, and it's real easy. Done with a phone call, 15, 30-minute chat with the team, 800-700-1980. We're going to continue with Rick Rivera right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show right after this quick timeout. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera, Rick, a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You can always go to the website to learn more, safeguardinvestment.com. You have questions, 800-700-1980. Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? All those concerns we have, 800-700-1980. I'm Mark Kelly. We're talking about a professor at the University of Kansas, and he taught aging and retirement for over 40 years at the University of Kansas. Then he retired, and he wrote an article about it in the Wall Street Journal. And we have some sound bites from him because he says one of the many factors we have to consider when it comes to retirement is not only how we will spend our own time in retirement, but what about if we have a spouse who is retiring with us? You know, I married him for better or worse, but not for lunch. 
You know, in that one, I think you can take it a lot of different ways. That I, The way I look at it is he's saying, look, we don't have to spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week with our spouse. Some people can't wait to do that, get an RV, travel the country. Others go, I'm going to go play golf. Why don't you go do some things with your girlfriends and we'll meet back, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Everybody's situation is a little unique in that part, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I guess, you know, for some people, I guess uh, – you know, absence uh, makes the heart grow fonder, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have I have certain clients that, that they have different hobbies, you know. The husband may have, you know, um, golf buddies that, you know, he goes and spend time and does his golfing thing and, and uh, maybe goes on hunting trips with his boys and will be gone for a week or even a month, you know, goes fishing in Alaska. Uh, the wife may have, you know, her girlfriends that they do their thing and maybe even take trips together. And then, of course, you know, we have clients that, you know, they spend most of their time together, uh, you know, with the grandkids or, or just traveling. Maybe they have an RV and, and and they travel the country together and they enjoy doing that. So, yeah, everybody's um, situation is different. And people and again, even husband and wife, when we're sitting down with them and and this this is the interesting thing. When I'm first making plans for for husband and wife and we're sitting down. Sometimes prior to retirement, they have two different thoughts as to what they think the retirement should be. You know, they thought they were on the same page. But then once we start getting into dialogue and start talking, you know, one is like, wait a minute, I thought we, you know, uh, we were going to do this. And another one's like, well, I thought that we were going to do that. And and so when we do this planning, this kind of helps to bring that all out. And, and make sure that when we are going into uh, retirement planning, we're all on the same page going forward. Yeah, and I think that's interesting. It's also kind of what Dr. Eckert talked about. Uh, he says in his research of how people act in retirement and how they adapt to retirement, he found that there really aren't going to be any serious effects on your marriage. There's going to be adjustments to make, but these changes won't actually threaten your marriage. People really actually look forward to retirement as a time that they can finally spend together after decades of uh, raising children and marching off to work. Now they can enjoy one another's uh, together and engage in activities that they would like to explore. So you and your wife, Shauna, you're a scuba diver. You like to scuba dive. Does she scuba dive with you? No, actually she doesn't. But what happens is when we take trips together. She makes sure the boat stays there and doesn't leave you. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, maybe I'll go and, 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 and scuba dive, but then I'll come back and then, you know, we're spending the rest of the trip together, you know, or maybe there's a particular event that she wants to do that I'm really not into, but then maybe she'll go do that particular event and then we'll come back and then we'll, you know, spend the rest of the day together for probably 75% of the trip, 80% of the trip, we're, we're doing it all together, but there might be little things here and there that we may do separately, but for most of the trip, we do it together. And, and, but again, you know, it, it's one of these scenarios where, um, everybody's different. Everybody has, you know, different situations, but for us, we definitely do 80, 90, you know, 80% of the stuff together. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, you have the opportunity, if you'd like some retirement guides and reads a webinar, it's about 30 minutes, and the team at Safeguard will just send this right to you. The toolkit includes the retirement guides and the webinar. All you have to do is text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. Kind of give you an idea of what to expect in retirement. Just give you some heads up, if you will. Just text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. So, Rick, you were just talking about this. The communication factor um, – I wonder how many times people come in and they do have different outlooks on what they think retirement's going to look like for them. I would think a, probably a higher percentage of time they're on the same page, but there's got to be the percentage you were talking about where they had different ideas. Well, I thought we were going to do this. I thought we were going to do that. How often, how do you, does it play out? Do you have a percentage for me? I would say probably, I would say probably around 20, 30% of the time, you know, people will come in and, um, for whatever reason, you know, the spouse was assuming one thing, husband was assuming another, and then, you know, they're going back and forth. Believe it or not, even when it comes to, you know, the investments, I'll sit down and, um, you know, uh, and we're talking about goals and objectives regarding the investments. And one spouse is much more aggressive. The other one is much more conservative. And now we're trying to set up a plan that creates that kind of um, happy medium you know, the, the, a compromise that they both can live with and, and, and fits both their situation. So almost sometimes when we're sitting down with individuals, I feel almost like a counselor or, 
or, you know, uh, do you charge extra you know, for that? <laughs> I know. Yeah, maybe I should, <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, but, but again, since I see it so often, this is the part where I can then start sharing ideas that I've seen other clients go through that are very similar to their situation. And I can say, here's how these clients have handled this similar situation. Here's a couple of different ways we can do this. And now we're having dialogue. It's brought out into the open and um, we're, we're, they're learning from other people's experiences rather than getting you know hit by surprise when they are in retirement and we're addressing it. So that's why it's so much more than just the investments. It, it, it's really sitting down with the individuals and having good, clear communication so there are no surprises. Yeah, it's about income, but it's also about lifestyle. What are you going to exactly. do? How are you going to spend your time? 800-700-1980 is the number to chat with Rick and the team at Safeguard. There's no cost to you. 800-700-1980. And the one thing you say, if you give... If they give you a call, anybody that's listening wants to talk to you about their retirement picture and get that big picture blueprint, you always say you got oh, some guarantees I, for them, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know what? I tell you what, give me 40. You can talk to me directly. Ask, speak to me directly and uh, give me 45 minutes. I've been doing this long enough. I know exactly what questions to ask and give me 45 minutes. And within 45 minutes, I'll give you at least two ideas that will enhance whatever it is that you're doing. It'll cost you nothing to do. How about that? Guaranteed. Two ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing uh, that will enhance what you are currently doing. That's a great opportunity for you. All you have to do is pick up the phone. Uh, this is a great opportunity. I think whether you become a client of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group or, or not, it's your opportunity to get a little bit of clarity into your retirement picture. Maybe you've already won the game. You don't even need Rick and the team. You, you could retire, but you don't know it because you're a little fearful. I haven't really thought all this through. I haven't sat down with a retirement planning team like Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. This is your opportunity. Maybe it's just a tweak here or there that can make a big difference. So it's a great opportunity for you, I think, to chat with Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Again, it's 800-700-1980. Totally complimentary. There's no obligation. There's no pressure. 800-700-1980. Take advantage of this opportunity. I think it's it's fantastic. It's priceless, as the old MasterCard used to say. 800-700-1980. Rick, as always, enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. We'll do it again next week. Great. Thank you so much, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC.